this is Praxis, and I'm back on site after being gone for about a week. River and I, River's playing over here in the sand pile. We both went camping uh, up at the White Mountains National Forest over the past week, and now I'm back the first day uh, returning to the site. And uh, today was a particularly good example, but even if you're gone for just overnight, one thing I wanted to talk about was the idea of efficiency losses whenever you, uh, you know, break things up over a series of days. Uh, if you guys remember in the last video, I was working on these box beams here. I got them stacked up right over here. I was working on them over on this, uh, you know, pile of wood back there. And I had to do nine more of them for the back wall over here. They're going to go up on top of this, uh, this uh, pressure treated beam. Uh, and I was working on those. I was chugging through them pretty fast. You know, the last time I was here on site, I think it was taking me about 12 minutes per box beam to put it together. Uh, that was going pretty well. Uh, but at the end of the day, I had to put them all over here, get them stacked, get them tarped. Uh, you know, I had to take the extra material that I hadn't used yet, get that covered up so it would be nice and dry in case it rained while I was away. Uh, there was other wood in the back that had to be covered up, and, I, you know, had to put tarps all over that. Had to get all the tools picked up, packed up in the car, and, and there's a bunch of things you have to do at the end of the day. Uh, and then when you come back at the beginning of the next day, you have to kind of undo a lot of those things. Like, for example, this morning we got here at about 8 o'clock, and right now it's a little past 8.30, and I haven't done any work yet. I haven't actually sunk a nail in anything. Uh, well, as soon as we got here, there were about two dozen deer flies attacking the car. So I got out of the tar car with a zap racket, got all those killed, started a campfire. You can see it going back behind you here in, in the bucket. That helps get rid of some of the other bugs. Okay, those are bug related issues. But even if you have no bugs at all, you know, I, I got up here uh, at, and I had to like unload all the tools, remember which, which tools I was using, get them up here. They're set, set over by, behind you over here. There's a hammer, a tape measure. Uh, pe a carpenter's pencil and a carpenter's square that I'm using to finish up the box beams. And then I remember, like, well, what was I doing? Did I finish all the box beams or not? And the answer is no, I didn't. I needed to do nine, and I was able to do seven of them. And where did I leave the materials? I could, you know, there were all these things I had to go through, and I finally got this open, and I've, I've kind of started things uh, moving, but it's like, you know, there's a half an hour down. So it's like 10, 15 minutes at the end of the day packing up, you know, at least that uh, at the beginning of the day, kind of getting things ready to go again. Uh, and, you know, you add that up over the, the duration of a project, and that's hours and hours of breaking down and setting up. So it's important whenever you are kind of thinking about your schedule, you know, if you have it in your head that, you know, yes, I'd like to do this building project, and I can probably get like an hour or two here or there to work on it, you know, each day. You have to consider that a sizable proportion of that hour in each day is going to be the setup and the breakdown time. So when you are kind of putting your schedule together, think about that. Whenever you can do kind of longer spans, there's always an efficiency that you gain by you know not having to do that breakdown and set up all the all the time. I'd also highly recommend not doing a wildly underviewed <laughs> YouTube video series on the topic. I, you know I, I do this for you guys because I think it's important to get it out there. But uh, you know setting up a camera and a tripod and everything like that, that takes time as well. So whatever you're doing, you know consider those things, you know, on the the and how they add up to your sort of daily schedule. And whenever possible, try to clump things together so you can just run through a bunch of work. Because once you get going, you tend to go a lot faster than when you have to start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. That's it. Thanks for watching.